Hello, Assalamualaikum. So now we are at the second uh, learning objective. No, no, it's the third learning objective, which is find the transpose of a matrix. Okay, so the transpose of a matrix here is literally using the letter, big letter T. Okay, so the big letter T will help us finding its transpose. Okay, so, okay, dalam ni guys, dalam ni, this is what we call as element. Okay, dalam matrix 3 by 3, ni, this is what we call as 3 by 3 matrix here. This has an elements of, uh, you know, ada 9 element di dalam 3 by 3 matrix here. And, and this is the first row, okay. The first row here, I'll show you, yeah. So, the first row here will be becoming... The first column. Bila dia di transpose kan. Itu je sebenarnya. That is the meaning of transpose. Look at the second row. If you look at the second row. Here is 2, 2, 2 right. This is the meaning of second row. It will now become the second column. It will be, it will now become the second column. See. Dia berada di bahagian second column pula. Now the third column. The third row will now becoming the third column. That is how transpose works. Okay? Don't be afraid. It is just as simple as ABC. Itulah maksud transpose. Just have to put it right. That's all. So now we have to show this is actually a properties. Okay? A properties where it's over here. Yeah. A plus B, the whole thing, everything here in bracket, transpose kan here. You, you selesaikan lah dulu A plus B matrix Selesaikan dulu And then when you transpose it You will get the same answer Equal as A transpose Plus B transpose Wow How does it happen? How do you How do you want to know? Let's do it now Let's do it now Okay let me show you now Okay now Bila dia kata perkataan show As I said so many times already In all of my videos I'm saying that Whenever you have show You must have Left hand side LHS equal So LHS is equal to Left hand side is equal to A plus B The whole thing transpose it So now I'm gonna need some big bracket here So I'll use a big bracket And then I put transpose Outside of the bracket Inside here I'll use green color 1 With 2 3 4 so, I can also use an open bracket. So, dalam matrix ni tak kisah. Boleh guna open bracket or even close bracket. Yang besar lah, okay? Um, so, you can do that also. Now, you can solve it. You will get inside here is... Uh, what is this? This is 4. This is 6. This is 5. And this is... And this is what you call You haven't transposed it So you just put T Selagi mana you belum transposekan dia Selagi mana you belum transposekan dia You mesti letak Huruf T besar ini Okay, di bahagian atas kanan Alright, and then Barulah you transposekan dia You will get As I said just now Row dia akan menjadi column so that 4 and 6 will be coming column instead. So now let's do it. 4 and 6. Well the 5 and 5, the second row will be coming the second column. Easy, isn't it? Very easy. So this is where you want to see whether you will see this on the right hand side. So we just gotta find the answers whether on the right hand side here will be the same as this one. I do not know yet. And so I have to find it now. Now, let's go to the right-hand side. So, I just write it down. A transpose plus B transpose. So, let's trans... Uh, maybe we can just write it down first. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Put down your transpose T over there. Put it down, please. Dalam um, penulisan matematics. Apa, dalam penulisan ini mesti ditulis dengan sangat jelas. Okay, and the B here, it will be, what, 3, 4, 2, 1, is it? Not 3, 4, 2, 1, 
and then put the transpose there. Okay, jangan malas. Just write it down. It's not that hard. And then barulah you transpose kan dia. You akan dapat 1, 2, 3, 4. While you plus it with 3, 4, 2, 1. See? It's not that hard, isn't it? Just making sure that the rows will be coming column. Itu je. Itu je cara kamu fikir. And then barulah you tambahkan dia. You akan dapat 4, 5, 6, 5. Oh, is it the same with your left hand side part? Yeah, oh my god, this is like my left hand side. And this is what? This is my right hand side, man. Oh my god, since, conclusion, since my left hand side is equal to the right hand side, therefore, therefore, the A plus B, the A plus B, the whole thing transpose will be equal to A plus a transpose plus B transpose. Tara hashtag. Meaning you have making a conclusion saying that this thing is correct. Oh my god, this is so correct. This properties is so correct. Okay, and so you have done the first properties. You have proved to yourself that you understand the first property. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next property is quite important. Very important. Okay, let's see. Again, we have to do what? We have to show it first. Okay, so bila kita kena show, kita kena letak huruf. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Come on, let's go. Left hand side is B, C, the whole thing T. The whole thing transpose. That is how I should say it. Okay, but now the thing is your B and C is in terms of 2 by 2 matrix. So, let me just duplicate it, please. I just want to duplicate it, the B and the C. Okay, so the B and the C here, I have to solve it first and then I'll transpose it later on. Okay, kita kena buat dalam dulu, barulah kita transposekan dia. So, now let's do it. So, remember, how do we solve this? Okay, 3, and for the row must be times with the first column. Okay, the row of the row must be times with the first column. And then you will get here 3 plus 12. Ha. Bila you dah buat banyak latihan, you akan rasa macam terus je. Tak payah buat jalan kerja yang agak panjang. Just, oh, 3 tambah 12. Senang. And then, next one is, what? Next one is the row... The first row times with second column, di bahagian sini pula. Alright. And so, you will get, you will get 12 plus 8. And, and then, and then, oops, let me just delete this one first. Okay, and then the second row will times with the first column. So, I'll get what? I'll get 2 plus 3. And then now, and then now, the second row will be times with the second column at here. It will be coming here. It will be like, it will be there. Alright, which the answer is 8 plus 2. And so you solve it, you will get 15. 25 and 10. Yeah. But you forgot one thing. You forgot to put down your T. See? Not you, it's me. Okay, I'm the one who forgot to put my T, which is wrong if I forgot about it. Okay, I must write down the T as long as I haven't transposed it. So now, barulah saya nak, nak transposekan dia. And so, dia akan jadi 15, 20, 5, 10. Yang ini barulah uh, dah selesai transpose. Yang ini barulah dah selesai transpose. So, so we are now trying to check whether it is equal to the C transpose. Right hand side here. So, we are trying to check whether this will be equal to that. Ah, uh, Itu je. So, now right hand side, let's start. My right hand side here 
should be equals to C transpose times B transpose. Will I get the same answer? Let's see. So C transpose, that what where is my C? Can I just duplicate it? Yes, I may do that. Just don't forget to put the T word, uh, the T letter there. And the B transpose here. I duplicate it. And just also don't forget to put my T there. And then barulah saya transpose kan dia. Saya akan dapat 1, 4, 3, 2. Didarabkan dengan 3, 4, 2, 1. And now I would like to solve it. I will get 3. Sometimes I love to highlight it so that I can see for myself also. Alright, so 3 plus 12 is here. 2 plus 3 is here. And here is 12 plus 8. And here is 8 plus 2. So my answer is 15. And here is 5, here is 20, here is 10. Wow! Oh my god, this is equals to the left hand side part and this is equals to my right hand side part wow they are the same thing therefore therefore since my left hand side is equals to the right hand side therefore this property is correct you have shown it you have shown to yourself that you understand whenever you have b c the whole thing transpose it to matrix times it first and then you transpose you akan dapat jawapan C transpose dulu bukan B mesti C dulu C transpose B transpose that is just the properties and that when that is the properties we just have to follow it don't argue it okay so the second properties you have done it I am here I wrote three lah, the, the third properties. Yang ni, this is simple, okay? Transpose bertemu transpose akan jumpa matrik tu sendiri balik. Okay, but here is unique. Okay, bila A, B, the whole thing transpose, you akan dapat jawapan B transpose dulu. Okay, matrix ni tak boleh sesuka hati A dulu, kejap B dulu. Tak suka, tak boleh you sesuka hati letak siapa dulu. It must having a properties with you. You must pegang properties tu dalam hati, dalam dalam your brain okay so it must have b first b transpose times a transpose kalau you letak a transpose maksudnya you tak faham properties maksudnya you tidak mengikut peraturan properties itu je okay so make sure you follow the properties just follow it